a, a more dominant role oh, yeah. in uh, driving uh, uh, brand building and adoption. So um, we are positioning strategically to collaborate with content developers and also influencers to meet the strategic requirements I see. Of, uh, of our clients. So I see the prospects as being bright. Okay. Uh, we are looking forward to a year that will be delicate. Mm -hmm. uh, we are hopeful that uh, with uh, stability within the political space, mm -hmm. uh, that the rebound we experienced will be sustained into 2019. I see. Yeah. Um, now, foreseeing prospects mm -hmm. and um, stability in, as a large market as, as mm -hmm. a whole, um, what do you emphasize as challenges? Because I know that um, mm -hmm. there must be challenges in situations like this, um, looking at the global content. Yeah, the challenge, the challenges for the uh, advertising sector okay. and brand sector in, in particular uh, continues to be the fact that we are having a lot of uh, the entry, the entry barriers are being removed I see. Uh, because of the digital space, exactly. and so we can see a lot of creative engagement taking on, uh, going on within the internet space, yeah, and brands are turning away uh, from uh, regular advertising agencies mm -hmm. to engage influencers, exactly. uh, content exactly. laboratories, okay. content yes. developers directly to develop content. Exactly. Uh, Nigerian agencies have to uh, rise to the challenge to realize that conventional advertising will no longer be sufficient yeah. uh, to, uh, uh, to drive relevance uh, in brand building. Uh, we need to, uh, having that strategic understanding of the requirements of the clients and also of the of, of, of the, market, the market be in that strategic position to curate and also innovate with uh, partners within the content development space and digital marketing space. Okay. So that is very critical for relevance. Okay. Still on the IMC industry, um, how can the service providers in the IMC tap into the prospects and opportunities in the new year? Yeah, um, tapping into those opportunities means having uh, a greater grip and understanding mm -hmm. of, uh, of, 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 of the imagined African consumer, mm -hmm. uh, the imagined African consumer who is very Afrocentric, mm -hmm. uh, who is very self-expressive, exactly. uh, who is borderless, and at the same time proud to patronize African products. Mm. Uh, so this is uh, an imagined dynamic. Uh, and we see these people, they believe in sharing. Okay. So you find most of them now, uh, unlike uh, the previous generations, they are not desperate to own a car. I see. Because they can get an Uber. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the structures of ownership are changing. They are comfortable. Uh, to engage uh, in productive activity as yeah. well as in their passions. So uh, at times they will not even be interested in, uh, they, 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 they can make more money from their passions okay. than from working in a structured environment. Okay. So uh, that versatility needs to be harnessed. Hmm. And advertising agencies, uh, businesses need to be able to look at the new pop culture Mm. and begin to redefine their businesses uh, to be able to harness this potential. Uh, because one of the challenges we face uh, is the whole issue of uh, great talent. Mm. So you find that great talent are migrating into the digital space, into the content development space. Okay. If we are going to secure that talent and harness that talent, then advertising agencies need to rethink mm. the corporate culture, exactly. uh, which is in place in most of these agencies, and also begin to rethink uh, the business model. Uh, we can't continue to work uh, in a, a, a looking from a conventional advertising lens mm. when the clients and the 
the market are now looking from a content lens, yeah. uh, a digital lens, exactly. and a very uh, borderless uh, perspective uh, to brand and community engagement. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, DDB Lagos yeah. um, is one of the Nigerian foremost and awarded creative shop. Yes. Um, as the group managing director of DDB, can you tell us about new developments, prospect, and um, or the insights? into your creative shop? What are we looking at this year? Well, uh, we are quite uh, privileged to emerge as the creative agency of the year. Oh, In 2018, at the recent uh, Life Awards, uh, we also had the privilege of winning a Grand Prix mm -hmm. uh, with the Man in the Box concept. Wow. Uh, so, uh, in terms of uh, creative performance last year, okay. it was uh, it was a good year. Uh, we are looking to build on those successes. Uh, we want to be able to make uh, more uh, giant strides uh, in terms of winning international awards. Uh, and more importantly, uh, we want to enhance our relevance uh, as a strategic partner okay. to our clients. Okay. Uh, we realize that uh, winning awards uh, is good because it shows uh, creative depth. Uh, we also want that creative depth to continue to help our clients win in the marketplace. So we we'll continue to uh, work towards shifting, not just from, uh, uh, moving our emphasis from creativity to innovation. And we'll also be moving our emphasis uh, from just building a team of A players oh. to be building uh, a collaborative synergy with uh, partners out there okay. uh, who okay. are leading in various facets okay. of content development and uh, innovation within the digital space. Okay. Uh, we're also looking to uh, give more sense of meaning mm. uh, to our people. Uh, not just through uh, professional development, okay. because that is something we invest in a lot, okay. but also through uh, a CSR program okay. that would be focused on the educational facet. Okay, we'll talk uh, more on this. Yes, uh, so that is something that is just <laughs> as pretty much at the foundational stage, okay. uh, but we want to be able to give back to the community by empowering Nigerians yes. educationally. Yes, sure. I believe capacity building is critical. It is. Uh, the AAA is focused on uh, putting the right structures, mm. uh, delivery structures, uh, to drive capacity building okay. in the advertising profession. Mm. And uh, we look forward to a great 2019 achieving these lofty goals. All right then, it's still Marketing Edge on TV and this has been our industry conversation segment of the program where we have in our studio the president of the Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, Mr. Ikechi Odibo, Triple N, and also the managing director of DDB Lagos, one of Nigerians foremost and awarded creative shop. We want to thank you so thank much, you so sir, much. for coming on Marketing Edge on TV. And we do hope to have you some of the time on the same TV program. A thank pleasure. You. Thank you very much, sir, for coming. And that's our package this week on Marketing Edge on TV. Be sure to join us again next week when we bring you yet another package. And you can always interact with us via our social media platforms on Twitter at Marketing Edge M, on Instagram at Marketing Edge Mag, and on YouTube at Marketing Edge TV. My name is Dele Agadumo.
to the campaign trail analysis. It's time for voters to have their say in one of the most anticipated elections as candidates just for one position. TVC News' most experienced team of reporters will be live at every corner of the nation to provide in-depth coverage of the election. Join our panel of analysts as they discuss what the outcome will mean for Nigeria during and after the election. As Nigerians vote, the world is watching and this election will be the decider that will alter the course of history for the next four years. Studio opens on Friday, February 15, 2019. Nigeria votes only on TBC News. is fundamental to the physical, mental, social well-being and quality of life. In Nigeria, a large proportion of people live in slums and unplanned settlements because of their inability to own a house or rent decent accommodation. On this program, I analyze the challenges affecting the housing sector with stakeholders to provide solutions. I don't think that anybody can pretend that we are going to close the 17 million homes gap in five years. It is time for Nigerians to start asking those seeking for votes what they want to do in their house. Each episode gives an insight into the housing plights of Nigerians. The gate man here needs a house as much as the millionaire who is driving past there needs a house. How can the housing sector be made better? Would a dream of owning a house by an average Nigerian be achieved? What strategies are the government putting in place to provide affordable and decent housing for all? Let's bring you up to speed on the happiness in the housing sector. Keep it it. Welcome to Business Nigeria, where we bring you the latest happenings in the world of business across the nation. Keep daily tracks of the dynamic business landscape in the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Forex trading, banking, aviation, transportation, and cultural sector, among others. Business Nigeria on TBC News Nigeria provides you with up-to-date analysis of the Nigerian market movements in shares, bonds, in stocks and investments. Join us on Monday to Friday at 2.30 p.m. only on TBC News Nigeria. Journey beyond the headlines to a world of an in-depth analysis of issues and reports. On Africa Today, all issues are considered, from South Africa to Kenya, Egypt to Rwanda, and all other parts of the country. Catch up with insightful live discussions with patriotic analysts to bring perspectives to issues and reports. Africa Today, showing every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Yearns to labor, not in tears, not in fear, and of course, not in vain. Facts remind the sleeping stakeholders to realize that something is missing. The better remuneration that we are agitating for will have impact on the life of Nigeria workers. And while the dwellers seek to maximize profits and government rolls out its policies, the tussle continues. Lens brings to you developments in the labor arena. Labor Lens every Saturday at 9:30 p.m. 